If there was a committee in some facet or organization of gaming that was on the lookout for the most Japanese oddball thing to have been included across the entire medium, then I would have a very good candidate here in the weird Wario World Treasure 3D platformer. And that is Red Brief J that we had just seen. One of the most ridiculous looking bosses I have ever seen in my entire life. And it is amazing. Treasure really went above and beyond the capabilities of anybody of thinking outside of the box. Because Red Brief J, in just basic description, is a seven foot tall, bodybuilder in red speedos who's a cow wearing a viking helmet and who prances around like he's a runway model with heels also you fight him in a volcano which is just video game equivalent for awesomeness like where do you even go from there i'm rewatching the footage and i just cannot stop laughing to myself about it <laughs> It's a cow bodybuilder wearing a viking helmet doing ballerina moves! <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! This is the best thing I've ever seen! Even Resident Evil doesn't go this far out of bounds in any of its games. But somehow, deep in the Mario spin-off hellscape, treasure this one-time developer for the franchise managed to outdo everybody. And you want to know what makes it absolutely work is that the gameplay is hell of a fun time. Just watching Red Brief J do his bullshit, and honestly, Red Brief J is one of the most perfect names you could have given to this guy. It's just fun to watch Red Brief J work about, and it's not that hard, and it's not that challenging, so it's not super satisfying, but the satisfaction is just getting to see and fight Red Brief J, even if it's not difficult. The way that you damage Red Brief J is just the icing on top of the cake, because what you have to do is coax him or wait until he does, does his football man charge move, get out of the way obviously, and then smash the arena, which is just this chain link fence thing sitting on top of the volcano, and that knocks him into the lava, and then, you know, he does the prance about move like, oh, he's so sexy in his non-existent heels just walking around causing lava plumes to happen because, again, this is Japan's Japan here. That's who made this. Japan's Japan. Like, the weird place that Japanese people go f to look for weird shit. That's who made this crap. Uh, and it's just great. It's just all-around ball-bursting fun. There's nothing else that could possibly top this. This is the highlight of all the highlights, and I just cannot be more in love with the entire concept and the entire set piece than I ever could be. Like, I could watch this video again and again all day and not get freaking tired of it, because it's just ridiculous, bizarro logic to the nth degree. Like, nothing else could possibly top this. Nothing else in the series is going to be this memorable, and it's just a flash in the pan that you don't see every day. Red Brief J is one of the most amazing bosses I've ever seen, and honestly one of my favorites. Is it the best boss ever? No, okay? I just personally love it too much. It's got tons of problems, its gameplay isn't revolutionary or anything, so it's not going to be the best, but it's going to be one of my favorites. 